Hello my celestial friends, I'm Echo the Saving Sorceress and today we're going to time travel back to when my good friends and I threw a most magical Harry Potter themed Halloween party. So, I'm a pretty severe introvert. I enjoy long stretches of time in between seeing other human beings. However, there is one exception to this rule. I absolutely adore throwing themed costume parties. Now, I'm not throwing a party this year, but a few years ago, my friends and I threw a Harry Potter party and it ended up being one of my all-time favorites. I thought I'd give you all a peek into the whimsy and show you how we added a dash of fun and wizardry to our party. I just always loved Harry Potter, and this party was like stepping into all of my childhood dreams. But first, just a little note. Here, we celebrate and welcome all LGBTQ plus people, neurodivergent people, and all people who are a little bit different. Don't let even your heroes make you feel small. And now let's jump into the magic. First, I wanted to show you what it looked like on my very old and shaky phone camera when people entered the party. Keep in mind, nearly all of this was done on a very low budget. Ah, <sighs> the Harry Potter party of dreams. The candles, the lights, the brick wall that you can run through. So I actually individually cut all those bricks out by hand. You know, you've got to have some variation in color. It wasn't too authentic, but hey, it's dark. It's fine. <laughs> it needed one extra touch, so I found the nine and three quarters sign online and printed it out, and I think it just added the perfect final piece to the whole puzzle. It was magical. <sighs> the leaky cauldron sign. Oh my goodness. The Leaky Cauldron sign is actually my favorite because I think it looks pretty legit. I was trying to mirror the actual metal Leaky Cauldron sign that you can buy for hundreds of dollars because I didn't want to buy one for hundreds of dollars for a party. So I made it out of cardboard and here you can see my process. I saw pictures of the sign online and then drew a rough estimate of what it looked like to me and then traced it, my estimate out onto the cardboard and cut it out and then swirled some pieces to make it you know, extra magical. I am really, really pleased, and I actually have it hanging in my house all the time now, not just for Halloween and not just for that party. It's a permanent addition because it just, it makes my house. This is a witchy house. You've got to have witchy decor. <laughs> Oh, those candles, those candles! I actually got them at the dollar store and then painted the flames so that they were more yellow. You know, a more authentic glow. And then I wrapped some fishing line around them and hung them from the ceiling, which was a great idea. Until it wasn't. Did the candles fall on people during the party? Yes. Did pieces of the ceiling come off when the candles fell? Possibly. <laughs> I mean, it was a little bit dangerous, but Hogwarts is a security nightmare. So I think it was pretty authentic. Now lighting really sets the scene. I'll admit this was the only part of the party that wasn't done on a budget. I'm very lucky that my friend Pascal is a professional lighting designer. But this is a good time to remind you to ask your friends for help. My friend Jordan helped me put together a lot of these decorations as well. We all made a great team, I think. Your friends may be willing to lend you their time or items too. Also, inexpensive lighting options like Bluetooth light bulbs are becoming more and more common. And if you happen to know someone who gardens, grow lights work surprisingly well too. It's time for Hogwarts letters. Remember when you were a kid and you got party favors to take home? Guess what? Adults love them too. We just stopped giving them to each other. Telling everyone to find the Hogwarts letter addressed to them floating over the fireplace was definitely a highlight. 
I've never seen a group of rather introverted adults get excited so quickly. All I did was print out letters for each of the friends I invited and put them into envelopes. Then I added a wax seal. Well, sort of. I actually made the wax seals out of glue gun and I spray painted them. I think it looks pretty perfect. I bought the stamp online a long time ago and I think I made good use of it. Then all I had to do was lightly tape them to fishing line for my friends to pull off. They all felt like children when they got their letter. Oh my gosh, this glittery potion. I need to show you what I used to make it. I've got to show you that. I just found some Royal Pearl Super Pearl dust online and it works miracles. You only need the tiniest little bit and it just adds swirls every time someone reaches a ladle in to get some potion out of the cauldron. <sighs> As far as I know, you can add it to any drink. And yes, it's edible. I think it looks particularly whimsical in blue, so that's the color I focus on when I'm making my potion punch. I mean, it swirls around like pure magic. It's so beautiful. I wish I had more footage of making all these items to share with you, but back then I had no idea that I'd have a channel one day. However, decorative potion bottles are some of my favorite crafts to make, so I'll most definitely cover those in a future video or three. Also, I'll take you along with me as I prepare everything for my next party, which should be next October, global catastrophic events pending. Now though, I must be off. It's my birthday tomorrow, and that calls for cake. I'd love to throw another party like this one day, even bigger and more magical. Have any cool ideas for what else I could add next time? Let me know down in the comments. And also, let me know which of these Harry Potter party ideas you loved, which was your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, please add a like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more witchy content, plants, sewing, and saving things, of course. I'll be back next Thursday with a brand new video. Plus, I'll have a bonus video up for you in honor of Halloween, so see you very soon. And remember, my celestial friends, save whatever childhood whimsy you can, be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. What is happening to my hair in this shot? I think it's not okay, it's absolutely not!